Okay, so going to play Early Middle Ages game as Scotland. This is a campaign that I've started twice in the last couple of months and lost the save game because of buying a new computer and fucking up basically. Um, so I'm determined to have another run at it and complete it this time. So I'm going to not start as Ud or King Seniod. Uh, I prefer to start down at the sort of vassal level. Uh, so in this case, uh, High Chief Urgoist is the vassal of the king, and he has a number of vassals of his own. So I quite like to start at that sort of level where uh, you've got a, a shot at becoming king reasonably early. And at the same time, you've got your own vassals who are probably plotting to undermine you, overthrow you, and kill you as well, probably. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to play as uh, the High Chief of Fortu. And my normal is to leave everything as default apart from Sunset Invasion. I do not want Aztecs running about in Scotland. They'd find it a bit too cold, I would imagine. Uh, Shattered Retreat off, and other than that, I don't think I tend to do anything other than, where is it, where is it, come on, the cultural title names, put them off so that I get a decent chance of trying to pronounce them. Uh, I know that still allows us to get the achievements, Iron Man's still active, so... Uh, let's call this one, yep, Scots Wahi. Scots Wahi is the title of a poem by one of Scotland's uh, most famous poets. Um, it starts, Scots Wahi, we Wallace bled, Scots Wham, Bruce has often led, welcome to thy gory bed or to victory. Um, so I reckon that's quite fitting. So let's have a look see. Uh, not too bad a starting character. Envious, stubborn, zealous, and erudite. Uh, we've got a claim on the Kingdom of Scotland. We've got two heirs and are married. Uh, age 39. So this is all reasonably good. I am going to start with what focus. Um, I'm th thinking. No, prestige. I want prestige. Uh, so we want diplomacy up a bit. Uh, so we'll go with carousing. In terms of an ambition, well, our son, our heir is 14, so let's groom an heir. Because the first couple of years, I just want to be focusing on building up my prestige, uh, a bit of cash, and getting this heir to adulthood. Once we've done that, then we'll be looking to make a move on the kingdom. I Let's have a look. Let's get reasonably good stats as well. Fussy, haughty and temperate. So intrigue would be the best education for him. I would rather have Diplomacy or Martial because when he become, he comes into power I expect to be looking to expand Kingdom of Scotland down into England so I think I will take Martial Education for him and in terms of Betrothal not too bothered about him having a prestige hit. So marrying a courtier, not too big a deal. She's also a Midas touched. I... Yeah, I'd be quite okay with that. Uh, how about in terms of diplomacy? Two, 
cool by the time he's 16, she'll be 31. Princess of Lombardy. Actually, I think I might seek to marry her myself. What else did we have? No, I think Ekaterine is the best choice. So let's send off a betrothal proposal and in terms of education. Okay, so Rue, Chief of Orkney, looks like he would be the best choice. So let's do that. And back to myself. Uh, we have our ambition under focus uh, in terms of marriage. So diplomacy is our weakest point. Prestige is important for me, so I think it might well be Doferada, Doferada, however you pronounce it. Um, gives us good learning as well. Traits are okay apart from arbitrary. Well, let's check this out. So we would gain three prestige, one light. Um, We don't really seem to have any other options, so we'll accept that, or we'll propose that rather, Let's see how we go from there. Right. Let's have a quick look at our realm, making no okay amount of money for the starting point. Uh, we have our other son who we will give duty as a focus and in terms of our council so our chancellor is okay uh, we don't have any other options there really uh, so let's get him to yeah, fabricate a claim in our guile Chief Bran of Mori Powerful vassal doesn't like us a whole heap. It's uh, not the best marshal. So Rue, chief of Orkney, would be better. And that might help to cement him to our cause. He is the guardian of my son, I think. Yes. So let's. Yeah, let's stick him in. Uh, I do want to provoke quite a number of these guys to revolt. Uh, so they can take advantage of um, removing them from their, their titles. Training troops in Gowrie. Our steward. Yeah, he's pretty much the best option. I think I'm just going to leave him in place. Could put the prince in place. But. Do, do, do. Yeah, I think I'm just going to leave him where he is. Deal with that. And I want you to build the legend. I'm Gowrie. Our spy master. Now Telerg, who's a courtier, would be a much better spy master. Chief of Ross. Yeah, okay. Telerg, you get the duty. And you can just remain there for now. And our court chaplain, I doubt we're going to get a better. No, so you can continue in your role. 
Uh, let's before I look at minor titles, I want to just come in here. We'll revoke titles so that I can gain some of this territory for myself because I want to be king. Minor titles. Designated region will be whom? Again, I quite like Chief Thru of Orkney. Could make the cousin designated regent. Slothful, paranoid, arbitrary, and cynical. Hmm. Just looking to see these guys. They're so unhappy with me. I have a long one. It's not going to make any real difference to the top three. The next lot, courtiers, chief of Shetland. Me. Prince of Scotland. So I think I might well make dressed my designated region. May as well. Court physician, we have a new uh, brood. I may as well go for a new uh, master of the horse. I'm just going to come back. In oh, fact, let's do it this way around. I right, so those three. There's no point. Um, so, Oipoig gets Master of the Horse. No, and that's us down to these guys. Uh, let's may as well keep it in the family. Hang on, Taylor. Uh, yep, okay. And do we keep Cupbearer for now? Actually, I should have kept High Almanac and I've given that to my wife. Uh, but I'm okay to go with that. Let's look just at the commanders. Who hates me? Garnet Chief of Ross. Or Bran Chief of Mori. Well, so Mori's my most immediate neighbour. And I think it's also the most powerful out of the two counties. So I think it's going to be you. Make commander. Let's make commander. Appoint commander. Yep. You can lead our armies. If you happen to die, that would be unfortunate. Okay, so I think that's us. We've Past our law, uh, don't have any tech. Okay, so we've got 437. Let's have a quick look, see how much Sarsen has. 910. So we're going to have to use a tribal army to deal with him. And everything else is okay. So let's start moving. To the wise chief Ergois, to your wisdom and mercy, our legendary have decided to accept your suggestion of a betrothal between Castanton and Icaterine. Excellent. And we have acceptance to our proposal here. And as I said earlier, I want prestige, so we will respect that. She's arrived. Now let's slow down a bit just while we have a look. We're still really lacking in stewardship, but there's nothing that we can do for that right now. The Lords of Scotland have approved the institution of low tribal organisation in law. Okay, so I guess that means from now on we'll start being asked to support our king when he wants to pass laws. Okay, so he's going to war for our guile. Um, so hang on. And we can't. When can we change? July 769. So four months, and then we can move and then put a, try and get a claim somewhere else. 
uh, yep, was approved, etc. So I've decided to institute the medium tribal organization war. I don't know. I don't I know that they'll be rushing to get to feudalism. I, I quite like having the tribal army available in the early stages. But I reckon that let's try and keep on his good side for now. Um, and we'll just deal with that later if we have to. Special character options available. Introducing her to the realm, let's do that. Everything else is okay. So we'll move on a bit quicker. And the Lords of Approved Medium Tribal Organization Law. So Bishop Anil of Dunkeld is a renowned, godly and learned vassal of yours. After having introduced himself to Castantin, Anil approaches you with an offer. Anil is willing to spend some time teaching Castantin some of the more intricate parts of the Bible in exchange for your favour. So Castantin would get plus one learning and we gain 50 piety and owe Anil a favour. I'm not too bothered about annoying, owing him a favour right now, so we'll go for that. in here. So my steward, Chief Broichen, tells me that his efforts at praising my name and deeds have met with great success. A small army of warriors has arrived. That's great. Uh, 300. 3. Okay, that's good. And who do we want to lead them? Yes, Bran. Karost is in there as well. And already we have potential righteous imprisonment. So Bran is Chief of Mori. He can raise 353 troops. Okay, I'm going to keep an eye on that just for now. Maybe actually, at this point, I'll ask him to end his plot. I'm not going to end his plot. So I do. I don't want to assassinate him. I want to keep him alive. And once I have enough troops, well, actually, no. What minute? This is ideal time because I've got my own levy to raise. Uh, so I am going to. What am I going to do? Yeah, righteous imprisonment. No. Oh. <laughs> okay. It's <laughs> disappointing. Uh, okay, so we can now appoint another commander. Can we revoke his title. Chieftain of Mori. Other opinions. Vassal goes down by 15. Well, do you know what? That's tough. Feeling hard because I've got my extra army here. Okay, so Castantin manages to upset one of my vassals. Is that a vassal? But yeah, Bishop of Elgin. Oh dear, that's unfortunate, but never mind. So I now have Mori as one of my personal holdings. And that's it. So we're introduced to one. Okay. At least he's not going to do himself any more damage. When casually strolling around the premises, as one often, as one often do, as one often does, you come across Gigurum sitting at his desk, overburdened with work. Should I help him out and gain a favour in return? Who is he? He's court chaplain. He is of no great concern to me. Uh, oh, I didn't have any choice anyway. How are we doing with prestige? 5.63 per month, okay. Uh, 
Let me speed up a bit more. So when is it? We're still in our first year, aren't we? Yep. Uh, he is 16 on January 1st, 771. Okay, who is this? Oh, you poor of Shetland. You are honest, kind, slothful and erudite. So, so obligate the vassal. Probably going to have the best chance of success. Very good. How are the factions looking? Are the known plots rather? Hang on, I didn't know about this. Not paying attention. Okay, so King has taken her guile. That war is over. So we just started to think this plot. So this guy here, who's my steward. Is this who I can righteously imprison? It is. Can you raise 424? So I'm going to try and imprison you. Let's see how we go. 55% chance. And he's safely locked away as well. And we will revoke your title. Okay, title is in succession. Open council positions. And the Pope has died. So let's look at our council. I could make the Chief of Kithness our steward. But I think I'm going to go for this bishop. Because he's slightly better. And who is it this time? Chief Gannant of Ross. Yep. Could we go to war this time? No. My god. The secret police are excellent. Uh, yeah, so we now have personally hold Buckin, Mori, Gowrie, and we have the High Chieftain. So who holds Ross? I've not revoked his title yet, have I? Chieftain of Ross, and we can't, we don't have the prestige. Uh, which reminds me, I'm supposed to be saving prestige so I can get a tribal army. Well, uh -oh, that could be a problem. Uh, never mind. What's the prestige going up by now? It's only 5.77 per month. Oops. many people who like us. We're mostly bishops. Rue of Orkney and Pedarnoin of Athol. So I'm going to have to be a bit more careful I think. Anyway, let's... long way from being able to afford any mercenaries. About halfway I think. Um, so let's speed up a wee bit. Check out we own this so bucket. It's not great. My liege's council is discontent. Till sixth of April, seven seventy-two. Okay, that's fine. Uh, King Tarla. That's not... So has, has his father died? Family. Family. Oh yes, he died. Under suspicious circumstances. Oh dear. Um, so you want to institute high tribal organisation. Opinion of me is seven. Uh, I reckon you're going to be coming after me soon. But we'll try and appeal to your better nature, show our loyalty for the moment. Uh, 
My wife is 23, yep. We've lost our extra troops. Yep, so... Should I send her a gift now? Let's invite her to carousing. I might as well do some carousing while I have that focus. This should be fun. I'm sure it will be fun. Prestige. Yeah. I can get up there soon enough. Got some money behind us. Let's look at what we could do. Earth Hill Fort. Yeah, the extra levy and having a fort might well be useful in the not too distant future. Let's get started. Good, we've become close friends. Ardo's no longer the chaplain. What's happened? Okay, I oh, oh. no longer regent. Edwal, his chief Gannant has died, and I didn't have to revoke his title. <laughs> Uh, well, that's that's sad. That's sad. Poor man. So we now own uh, Gowrie, Mori, Buchan, and Ross. What sort of size army can we? Oh, excellent. Better liege. So if he does declare war on us, I'm feeling fairly confident. Yes. Making a fair amount of income now. Won't be much longer until our son turns 16. One thing is that we are at the maximum domain size for the moment. But we can live with that. Okay, so we've fulfilled the air. Urgwist has managed to groom an heir to adulthood. New ambition has to be to become King of Scotland. And Betrothed can now marry. Yep, that's fine. Off we go. Accept. Oh yeah, yeah, that's because I sent that that crossed in the post. So his wife, good stats in terms of stewardship. Stand you in good stead, my my son. And. Hopefully we'll be able to grant you some land in the not too distant future. It's our liege. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do I bite the bullet and go for it just now? We'll answer that question in part two. Hope to see you there. Cheers. <laughs>